Welcome guys. So as you just know, the life eviction show just ended and Jared and Else has just been evicted from the house. And I have to ask guys, what God does Jared pray to? Like, what kind of prayer does he say? Because I myself, I would like to say that prayer because this guy has been a sitting dog in that house from day one. Like, that guy, there is no input he brings to that show. If Jared will live today, he, his presence won't be missed in the house. So, why is it that week after week, this guy is always saved? Week after week, after week this guy is always saved? Well, maybe he has a back end that we don't know. But at least with him being saved today, let's see what he will do. Because he has always been promising us that he will rock up the whole house. That he has a play in his mind. That if he, if he shows out this play, that all the house may will be in all. So, with him being saved this week, let's see what he will do. And remember, this is not the first time that he has been making that kind of promises. Every time that he's always up for possible eviction, he's always making promises of rocking up the whole house if he's saved. And uh, for some reason, it has been working for him. So let's see what he will do with being saved this week. Guys, do you think that Snai being saved this week, do you think that he will bring out the game plan that he has been hiding from all of us and all of the housemates? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. My name is Shooks and welcome to the powerhouse of positivity. So the life eviction show just ended and the likes of Els and Jerry were just evicted. But before the whole eviction, I'll talk you through everything that happened with the performance that we had today. We had a great performance and all. But hey, Lawrence, the outfit that Lawrence was putting on today, I don't know what I have to feel. I think he's feeling like he's in a high school or funky because the whole appearance, it's, it's not sitting well for me. But it is what it is. Fashion is all about expressing yourself. Maybe that's how he feels like expressing himself today. But for me, it's a no-no for that attire. But once again, I have to congratulate him for a job well done and everything that he's been doing, being the host of this show. The guy is always there. He knows the right question to ask. Even though some question he's asking, people always go and attack him on X, saying that he's too sentimental, that he's always choosing one person to attack but guys it's his job at the end of the day he has to do it so for this week he didn't falter he went straight into the house and started asking this guy's question and uh, before he started asking the question he said a very big congratulations to Mpumi for emerging the head of the house and also for the housemate for winning the 100 percent wages so the first question the first person that Lawrence asked a question was Liema and the question Lawrence asked her is the relationship that he has with Jared is he lost love or is it all of the above so Liema, Liema responded that is all of the above. The next, the next question Lawrence asked her was, between Jared and Mark Jr., we've seen the moves that you've been making. So between these two guys, who is it that you have? Who do you have more connection with? So without wasting time, she said, uh, Jared. And guys, that reminds me of that meme where a goat was saved. And right after the goat was saved, the goat jumped right back into the hole that he was sick from because there's no turning back from Liam. I don't know if that's a game plan that she wishes to play but unfortunately for her the main player of the game has just been evicted so let's see how she would navigate this week and everything that will go on this week so the next person that was asked question was Jared Lawrence asked him okay with him put me stepping away from the whole situation between the three of you has it given you more time to kind of get closer to Liam? or have you been feeling how have you been feeling and jared was like yes with mpumi stepping away it has given me more time to appreciate that what liema and i had or uh, liema and i has was a uh, real so uh, lawrence was like oh it's real but you're getting closer to her but in the same week you're also getting closer to other lady but uh, he just laughed it away and the next person he asked the question was else he asked him okay else what is it that you've been going with Jared and uh, everything you've already seen how Mpumi stepped out of the whole situation. So why is it that immediately Mpumi stepped out? You kind of inserted yourself. So else was like yes, Mpumi stepping down kind of gave Jared an opening and uh, made him more adv uh, approachable and made him more free. That with uh, him only focusing on Liama, that he's now free and that uh, that's he, that's her that's her way of knowing that okay, this is my opening to approach jared and uh, pursue something with jared the, the next question was asked to papa ghost and guys to be honest with you i didn't see that coming maybe it's because i haven't been paying attention to the show for a very long time because 
this house we they haven't been giving me the motivation to watch this show 24 7 but i'll try as much as possible to bring you guys anything that has been happening in the house guys if you've watched to this point please hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed and if you are coming across my channel for the first time i appreciate you please subscribe we're on the road to 13,000. Help us get to 13,000 subscribe, like this video, and also please don't forget watch it till the end. So the question Lawrence asked Papa Ghost was the conversation he was having with the likes of Young Papi, where he kind of uh, made a mention that he envied Jared and the gameplay that he that and everything that he's been doing in the house. And uh, in his defense, he kind of had a selective amnesia, uh, amnesia, where he said he didn't remember having that kind of conversation, but he can envy Jared, that Jared's life is too tumultuous and uh, chaotic, that he, he doesn't want that kind of life. And uh, that he's the kind of person that doesn't like entertaining other women in his space. So uh, uh, Lawrence was like, are you sure you don't like entertaining other women in your space? And he's like, yes. So Lawrence was like, okay, since so you don't like entertaining other women in your space, what about giving those women massages? And my guy was dumbfounded. He didn't, he didn't even know what to say. He was kind of <laughs> like a clown. And uh, you could see in the Rato's face that Rato wasn't feeling it. And guys, remember, this has been the issue with Papa Ghost and Rato, with the whole Papa Ghost fret, uh, flirting with other housemates. And Rato has told him that he doesn't like, she doesn't like this kind of Papa Ghost that he's, uh, she's seen. So, moving on, the next person on the list of questions was, was Lerato. So, Lawrence, after asking Papa Ghost about the whole massaging feet and everything, he went to Lerato and asked, he, and asked her if, with everything that Papa Ghost has been doing, has, has she ever considered divorcing papa ghost the same way makeke and uh, yolanda called for the divorce and she's like yes yeah, she has told papa ghost everything and how she likes to live and uh seeing the way papa ghost is living she doesn't know what to do anymore the next question was thrown to young papi so this is a question that everybody was kind of not looking forward to but so Lawrence asked young papi that with z and the relationship that they have been into and with z finding out that he has virtually kissed almost every lady in that house does he finding out the truth has it kind of brought the friendship closer or has it kind of listed lifted a weight of his shoulder with z finding out of all his escapade and he's like yes that it has also made them bond together and talk about it that it's a good thing that the, that the weight of keeping the secret has been lifted off his uh, shoulder so the next question was for makeke and uh, guys we already know that makeke whenever makeke and uh, lawrence is speaking they always uh, kind of con uh, have a conversation in a vernacular so i didn't actually pick the whole thing but all i know is that he was asking makeke about the honor of honor of honor of relationship that he's having uh, with yolanda and in reply makeke has already stated that he has made his feelings known to yolanda and uh, he doesn't know why yolanda don't want to kind of reciprocate the whole feeling so uh without wasting time Lawrence went into nomination uh, a victim so without wasting more time, much time, Lawrence went into eviction and asked all the housemates that are up for possible eviction to stand. And I decided to tell the housemates that are safe to sit down. And the first person to sit down was uh, Yolanda. The next person was Sinaye, which kind of bring me to the question, who is Sinaye serving? What kind of God is Sinaye serving? Like, who, whom and whom have been a saving Sinaye? Because it's enough now. It's enough. Like, the guy should not be in the eighth week. Of the the guy shouldn't be in the eighth week of the house like he hasn't brought any game in this house so for him to be in this in the house till the eighth week like it makes me it makes me question who is is backing this guy that's all i have to say who is backing this guy so if anybody knows help me in the comment section who is backing tonight so makaka was also saved but before he was saved Lawrence kind of put a tension between him and jared telling them that one person will be saved and one person will be living so makaka was saved and jared was the first housemate to be living to the shock of all of us remember last night when the whole altercation between Riema else and jared was happening Riema made a comment where she said that she will be happy if and uh, she's seen the two of them which is jared and else leaving the house come sunday so guys let me know what your thoughts are with lemma saying that he sees both 
Jared and else living come Sunday, uh, come Sunday life eviction, and then for the two of them to actually be evicted, guys. Let me know what you think about this whole thing. The reason why I'm saying this story is because we don't want Big Brother to hear what we are discussing. So let me know what your thoughts are with the whole conversation and everything that has been going on in the house. So after Jared was out with Lawrence, Lawrence kind of asked him a question, showed him his highlight. And one of the questions that stood out was when Lawrence asked him, out of all the housemates, the guys in the house, who has you kind of bonded with more? and would like to work with after the whole show and uh, to my surprise he said my junior and young puppy and guys that kind of i didn't see that coming but it is what it is guys they can bond with with anything guys can just bond without even knowing their name so for the two for the three of them to kind of have a bond and uh, looking forward to working together outside of the show it's a big uh, kudos to them so after the whole thing lawrence went into the house again and decided to complete the whole eviction and guys remember this housemate was more than four housemates standing up for possible eviction and we only have three more weeks remaining in the show so for two housemates to leave it's kind of eh, but it is what it is the show and the production they've already made up their list and how they will want this this whole game to play out so we'll see what will happen for the remainder for the remainder of uh, three weeks but uh all in all i'll always be here to bring you details of everything that has been going on in the house and guys please also remember subscribe 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 we on road to 13,000 so help us get to 13,000 subscribe like comment else was evicted and i uh, guys i have to say i don't know what kind of outfit else was putting on today but let's not go into that whole outfit situation let's just go into the question that Lawrence asked her so Lawrence was kind of okay now that you are out of here how are you feeling and else was kind of happy that she is living maybe the reason why she's happy is because she has her man by the side which is jared and two of them getting uh you know the whole steamy kissing and everything and also two of them being evicted the same night h h h h i wonder what will go what will happen in the hotel room but hey don't say i say let's just focus on the topic of today which is else eviction and the question lawrence asked her so Lawrence asked her how she feels about making it to you now and uh, if she's surprised. And she said yes, that she's actually surprised that she made it till week 7. That she thought she would be leaving after the third week. But to her surprise, she made it to week 7. So for that, she's so happy. And uh, Lawrence went on to show her her highlight. And in after the whole highlight issue, Lawrence asked her, so are you happy with the way south africa has seen you throughout this whole seven weeks and else was like she owned it with her full chest yes everything i saw there was me dancing and kissing all the boys in the house and that is who i am and that is what i like so guys if you've been uh, campaigning for her saying that that's not who she is it's right there she has confirmed that that is what she likes doing kissing guys and dancing so i can't judge her kudos to her we'll be looking forward to anything that she do after this show and uh from our heart we wish her all the best so after that whole thing it's time for the whole dagger to commence so big uh Lawrence asks jared and elks to go back into the house and throw any to and throw their dagger to any of the housemates and by now i know all of you will know what the dagger is but for those of you that didn't know the dagger is a is a twist that big brother brought into the show so if you are evicted after seeing who nominated you you have now you have the opportunity to go back into the house and say you are throwing a dagger to so so, -so person and so so, -so person so on monday big brother will give the person you threw the dagger to a punishment maybe the punishment might last the whole week the punishment might last for two days it depends on big brother so for their dagger jerry threw his dagger to yolanda for no just reason he just said yolanda i'm throwing my dagger to you and for else else threw his dagger to young papi so guys this is where i'll be ending the video my name is shooks and this is powerhouse of positivity and guys please 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 i am begging we're on route to thirteen thousand. hit the subscribe button guys get us to thirteen thousand, and then comment your thoughts on everything that happened during the life eviction show what has been your highlight of today and uh throughout the show what has been your highlight my highlight is senaye being safe i don't know who that guy is praying to but i would like to know and also guys like the video subscribe comment i'll see you guys on the next one stay blessed